According to the Kentucky State Police annual statewide crime report, overall serious crime rates dropped over 10% in 2022. Alongside the state, Floyd County also saw a drop in serious crime. We're pretty much with the trend in, across Kentucky that we've seen a lower rate in, the, in serious crimes, part one crimes, armed robberies, murders. Now, you take away our, our incident that we were involved in. Other than that, uh, you know, we stand really good with our, our part one crimes, our armed robberies, uh, murders. Um, property crimes is even down, a decrease in some property crimes, the burglaries. Um, we still have some thefts, don't get me wrong, we have uh, our theft. I don't think I've seen a decline in, uh, but we were glad to see that our overall crime rate uh, has decreased. Are you ready for a new school year? What better way to start a new school year off right than with a new device on the network that keeps our students and teachers connected? Appalachian Wireless. Whether you need a new smartphone, wearable, or an iPad, we have your back-to-school solution. Visit AppalachianWireless.com or go into one of our 26 retail locations for our back-to-school deals that'll help you show up and show out this school year. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Across the state, there's been a 6.9% decrease in homicide arrests and nearly a 6% decrease in arrests for robberies. I would attribute some of it to um, a lot of our prevention treatment programs. Uh, we're, so we've seen a, a big increase in those programs over the last couple of years. Um, I think our court systems are mandating a lot of those uh, treatment programs to be, a, um, you know, somebody to go through treatment and it's, it's working. So I hope that's I hope it's a big attribute to that, that our some of our drug addicts are getting clean, uh, treatment centers are working, jail programs are working. Obviously, we still have a lot of low-level dealers and, and local people that live here, but uh, trying to set up a good border that we're stopping from is some of these outsiders from coming in from Louisville and Detroit or wherever they're coming from to our, our region. Um, I think it's helping to keep down some of that. So it's a number of things that goes into um, some of these enforcement actions to try to decrease, um, obviously, your serious crimes, and then you try to focus on some of your smaller crimes as you go. Other categories that saw a decrease include fraud, human trafficking, pornography, and obscene material, and prostitution offenses. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Dean.